Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the craziest mud truck packs that has pretty much ever been in this game. Now, from right to left, the green Cat Eye mud truck is powered by a compound turbo Cummins diesel, the one in the middle is a supercharged V8, and the one on the left is a Duramax-powered rig. So, we're going to be going through each one of these vehicles, we're going to build them a little bit differently, and I'm sure you guys have already noticed the difference with the one in the middle. It actually does not have have a Cat Eye Duramax front clip. It has a Sierra, a GMC Sierra front clip. So this one actually has interchangeable grills and hoods that you can actually use to go between the two different versions of the truck. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right down to the driving and we're actually going to start with the V8 powered one. So let's make sure that we're in the right truck and then now we can go ahead and get out of the free camera and we can fire this thing up and get it into the garage. Let's let, uh, let's let you guys hear this thing. It sounds so good. It sounds so incredibly good. Now, at the moment, these are PC mods, and you guys can find out more info about these trucks by clicking the link in the description box down below. So, into the garage with this first mud truck. Now, into the customization, we're going to go with the high-performance engine. We're going to probably go with the high-performance engine tune on all three of these. And this one is going to get a highway transmission. And the highway transmission doesn't necessarily mean it was designed for the highway. It just means more speed, more gears, more speed. Now, we have three different suspension options. Stock, lift, stiff, and trail. Now, trail is going to be a little bit more of the flavor of, let's say you wanted to take your mud truck trail riding. You can do that. And the stiff suspension is actually kind of interesting. So the stiff suspension basically came from the idea of what if you wanted to load a four-wheeler into the bed of this truck? Because this truck does have a working tailgate. So we found that originally, or I should say the creator found that originally, if you were to put a four-wheeler in the back, that it would basically just like sink like crazy. So the stiff suspension is basically for those of you that want to put something in the bed of the truck. Now we're going to go with the trail suspension on this build and tires wise you start off at a 54 you got two different compounds a mud tire and a sticky and that goes all the way up to a 65 in either a agricultural style mud tire or a sticky now we're gonna go with the stickies in 65 we're gonna go with now this is oh my god this is wild by the way so you have stock bed with stock tail lights with an opening tailgate you have stock bed with custom tail lights with an opening tailgate which is what we're gonna go with you have custom bumper number one uh, sorry, custom bumper, just custom bumper, no numbers, and then custom bumper number one, then custom bumper number two. We're going to go with custom bumper number one on this truck. We're going to do the custom rear bumper as well, and then, let's see, you can do a chase rack in the back, which is actually really, really cool. I think it looks sick back there. Then, this is where it gets really, really interesting. So if I pan the camera around to the front of the truck, you have the front clip cat, and then the front clip GMC. And you can actually switch between whichever one of those you want. And I think that is one of the sickest details that this mod has in general. Now, you could also do a roll bar. I kind of like the chase rack personally. Or you could do a toolbox. But once again, we're going to go with the chase rack. So let's now go to the wheels. Oh, you get one wheel and that's that specialty forged. Which honestly, that specialty forged wheel looks really, really good. So I'm not really too interested in changing it. And then as far as colors go, we already have a lime green one although we don't have a full red truck yet and I do like this kind of dark blue accent with the white so I might actually leave that as is and yes you can put beans on the dash so let's go ahead and get this thing out of the garage now and see what it's like to drive because holy crap is it monstrous to look at or what let's fire it up now I'm not going to be doing a full testing circuit with each one because we do only have, like, we do only have a small uh, testing environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to pick a different obstacle for each one. And also, dude, take a look at the fact that those coolers in the back, the fans actually spin. The freaking attention to detail, though. It's wild. Absolutely freaking wild, though. And also, you've got your interior here. The interior isn't really a major focus of this truck, but it is really cool that it's there. Now, I do want to go ahead and go through the garage real quick because if I take the hood off, look at this. Not only, not only can you see this glorious supercharged V8. By the way, it's also got inverted headers, but that, oh my god. The supercharger pulley spins, 
the belt spins, like everything works. And that's the coolest part of this whole thing is that everything just works. And you know what? That looks crazy enough that I think I'm just gonna leave the hood off. I, I really have no reason to want to put the hood on at this point. Like, let's see how this thing does with a launch. Three, two, one, go! Holy crap. Oh, God, I'm trying to keep it in a straight line. Ah! I think that's the only time in my entire life that that barrier has ever saved me from rolling over. But leave it to this truck to be the one that makes that happen. So let's go ahead and get across the river real quick. We're not going to spend, like I said, we're not going to spend our entire time in this one. But I do want to go ahead and walk you guys through some of the capabilities of it. Especially with that trail suspension and the stickies. Let's make a run up this hill real quick. Immense grip. Absolutely just tremendous grip. I mean, it's like it doesn't even know these rocks are there. It's like, okay, I mean, we're just driving. We're just gonna cruise now. And for a truck this big on tires this massive, it does have a really good amount of flex with that trail suspension. God, it really does just not care what's in its way. It just straight up does not care what's in its way. That is... Oh! I took my eyes off of what I was doing for one second, one second, and positioned my front axle in the wrong place, and here we are. So now, let's grab the Cummins-powered one. Now, this one is personally my favorite because if you go into the interior view with that cowl hood, you can actually see the upper turbo in the compound setup. It's so freaking cool. Let's fire this one up. And as you can see, it has the respective sound to go with it as well. Let's get this one into the garage, and we'll do a quick build on it. Now, I think with this one, we're going to do some slightly different visual mods that we, uh, as to what we did on the other one. So I'm going to go with the high-performance engine again. We'll go with the off-road transmission on this one. And I think we're going to do the full-on lift. Not the trail suspension, but just the full-on lift. So I can show you guys what happens when you extend this suspension out all the way. Now, this one is going to get the 65-inch mud tires... And we're going to do the stock tail lights, and then we're going to do the pre-runner style bumper. And then, let's see, we'll do the custom rear bumper as well. And we'll do, it would be interesting to do the GMC grill on this one because, hmm, if we took the, I tell you what, you know what? We'll leave the cat eye grill on this one. And then we'll also take the hood off so you guys can see that compound turbo setup in all its glory. Because it looks freaking amazing. It looks so good. Single wheel choice once again. Got that lime green going on. And beans on the dash. And now, this right here. I mean, if you wanted to set this thing up as a perfect mud truck, this is how I would set mine up. I mean, no offense to anybody that would take either, like, either of the other setups. But this would be the ultimate setup for me. And look at that. That gorgeous, shiny compound turbo setup on that Cummins diesel. I mean, that is just a gorgeous setup under the hood. And you can even see the freaking intercooler. And, like, it's so, so much detail. I could spend, like, way more time than I should just staring at the details on this truck. So let me go ahead and back it up real quick. And now, let's do a launch. Build up some booze. Three, two... One, drop it. Dude, that's freaking fast. I mean, especially considering the fact that this is the off-road transmission. That is, like, dumb fast. All right, I'm going to take this one into the swamp. And then we're going to go into, uh, or no, sorry, the river first, then the swamp. Wow, this one with all the torque and that off-road trans in high. Just, it absolutely just scoots. It gets down. Come on. Whoa. I wasn't actually expecting that to happen with it. I've got to be, like, completely straight up about that. I was not expecting it to have a physics moment. Fortunately, we... Oh, no. Oh, I should have brought the suspension down first. If I don't bring the suspension down, I do wind up in a lot of trouble trying to flip this thing back over. But, you know what? It actually, like, now that we've, like, repaired the body damage, I mean... It looks pretty dang cool with all the extra mud on it. So let's send it into the swamp and see what happens. Spins quite a bit when you're in high, but I mean, if you put it in automatic, you're never going to have an issue. I mean, and, and if you ever start spinning, just literally like on and off the clutch one time, it'll downshift into the gear it needs to be in and then it'll get all the grip it needs again. Oh my God. I love driving this thing though. I will tell you, 
in this uh, this high suspension setting, it's extremely top heavy, but I feel like that's pretty well representative of how a truck this high, especially a mud truck this high, would actually drive. I mean, these were designed around the idea of pretty much bringing the idea of a real world cat eye mud truck into SnowRunner, and I think they do a dang good job. I really do. All right, that one is now going to chill out right there. And finally, we're going to jump into the Duramax-powered one. So let's go ahead and fire you up. Sounds so good. And I love the fact that each one has the correct engine sound to go with it. Each one has the engine sound that matches the engine itself. Now, this one's going to get a very different kind of setup. So I'm going to leave the stock suspension on this one with the small tires. And some of you might be like, well, why are you going that route? I want to see how this thing drives in like full, you know, full crazy spec with the performance, but leaving the tire size, the suspension, leaving that all stock because I feel like the stock setups don't normally get highlighted enough and the stock setups on this truck were also paid attention to just as much as the upgraded setups. So I think this one's gonna get a, let's see, front clip GMC, cowl hood GMC, and you know, in comparison to the other ones, I think I am gonna leave the, uh, I think I'm, I am gonna leave the hood on this one. And let's see what bumper I think looks right. Actually, I really like the way the pre-runner style bumper looks on this one. Now this, this is actually really cool because if you think about it, this is kind of like, you know, it doesn't always have to be a super crazy over the top build. It could be something like this where it's still super crazy. It's just not quite as over the top as the other two. And it still drives really well and it's super fun and satisfying to drive. I want to actually take this thing through some of the standard obstacles, like the normal mud pit and stuff like that, just to see how this thing gets down in comparison to the other two, which are both on gigantic tires. All right, sign, you gonna stay there like forever? All right, let's let's uh, let's say goodbye to that traffic sign real quick, please and thank you. Oh wow, God, these LEDs are beautiful too, especially the LED tails. The LED tails are incredible. All right, into the first mud pit. These are on the smallest tires that you can get. And through the shallow mud, bro, it rips. It doesn't even, doesn't even bat an eye, basically. It just freaking rips. Oh my god. All right, well, front axle off the ground. Now, when you do start to slow down and high, you can just pop it back into automatic mode and then bump the clutch, and it will pretty much go to whatever gear is right for what it needs at the time. The transmission programming is super good. It's, like, really on point, actually, and I'm not that I expected it not to be. I'm just really happy with it. I think the transmission programming is amazing. Now, if you guys enjoyed taking a look at these trucks with me, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and also let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know which one you would want in your garage. And if you're new around here and you want to stay as up-to-date as possible with everything SnowRunner and other off-road games as well, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I will see y'all next time.